In the flickering glow of a vintage television set, the year 1954 emerges like a phantom from the past, bearing the gift of a timeless tale that would etch its silhouette into the annals of television history. It was in this year that the enigmatic Sherlock Holmes made his debut on the small screen, breathing life into Sir Arthur Conan Doyle's legendary creation. Perhaps, dear reader, you recall that moment of your own first encounter, the way your curiosity mingled with anticipation as you embarked on a journey into the fog-draped streets of Victorian London. The crackling static of an era gone by became a portal, and you, a modern-day time traveler, were transported to a world of deductive marvels and eloquent mysteries. Was it the eloquence of Basil Rathbone's Holmes that captivated you, or Nigel Bruce's endearing portrayal of the loyal Dr. Watson? Maybe it was that iconic deerstalker hat, perched atop a sharp mind, or the haunting violin strains that painted a portrait of Holmes' introspection. Ah, the goosebumps that traced your skin when Holmes' deductive prowess unraveled a web of intrigue, thread by thread. And who could forget the gasps of revelation that escaped your lips as the master detective unveiled the truth behind seemingly impenetrable enigmas? But hark, let us shift the spotlight to the stage where random facts dance like shadows in the gaslight glow. Did you know that the 1954 TV series gave Holmes his first American television debut, proving that the allure of Baker Street's most famous resident knows no bounds? Ah, and here's a morsel to savor each episode's concise runtime. A mere half hour condensed the essence of Holmes' brilliance into bite-sized nuggets, leaving viewers both satiated and yearning for more. And so, as we part the velvet curtains of time once again, these tidbits invite us to relish the echoes of an era when mysteries were solved not by technology, but by the razor-sharp intellect of a man who donned a deerstalker as if it were a crown. So, with a nod to nostalgia and an ode to the enigmatic, let us delve deeper into the world of 1,954 seconds Sherlock Holmes, where riddles were resolved in the foggy aura of London enveloped all who dared The to 1954 enter. TV series Sherlock Holmes brought Sir Arthur Conan Doyle's famed detective to the small screen. Originating in the United States, the show featured classic tales of deduction and mystery, captivating audiences with its engaging storytelling. The iconic characters, Sherlock Holmes and Dr. John Watson, were portrayed with depth and authenticity, laying the foundation for future adaptations. The series embraced a unique style, set in the contemporary 1950s, offering a fresh take on the Victorian-era stories. The show's impact on popular culture was profound, as it popularized the detective genre on television and introduced a new generation to the timeless charm of Sherlock Holmes. Now, delving into intriguing tidbits about the show, did you know that the series employed a minimalist approach to sets and costumes, focusing instead on the intellect of Holmes and the dynamics between characters? Another fascinating fact is that Ronald Howard, who portrayed Holmes, was the real-life son of actor Leslie Howard. Additionally, H. Marion Crawford portrayed an affable and humorous Dr. Watson, adding a delightful dimension to the character's portrayal. The 1954 Sherlock Holmes series holds a special place in the history of television, offering a fresh perspective on a beloved literary classic. Its legacy endures, inspiring subsequent adaptations and continuing to captivate detective fiction and Unveiling intricacies of the 1954 TV series Sherlock Holmes in 1954, an iconic American television adaptation of Sherlock Holmes graced screens nationwide, captivating audiences with its enigmatic narratives and brilliant sleuthing. Notably, this rendition held the distinction of being the sole American interpretation for over five decades, until the emergence of Elementary breathed new life into the detective's legacy. One distinguishing facet of the series lies in its evocative theme music, resonating through time in two distinct arrangements. One rendition, led by piano melodies, evoked a sense of intimacy, drawing viewers into the world of deduction and intrigue. The alternate version, a sweeping orchestral arrangement, underscored the grandeur of Holmes' deductions, weaving an auditory tapestry that matched the complexity of his cases. A lesser-known connection weaving through the show's fabric is the familial tie between directorial vision and musical composition. Steve Previn, the adept hand behind many episodes, shared blood with none other than the composer Andre Previn, a harmonious coincidence that undoubtedly added depth to the series' auditory and visual synergy. Though decades have passed since its inception, the 1954 TV series Sherlock Holmes remains an enigma in its own right. 
with a lineage extending over half a century and a musical cadence that echoes through memory. This adaptation stands as a testament to the enduring allure of Sir Arthur Conan Doyle's beloved detective. Portraying a sharper Dr. Watson, Howard Marion Crawford's impact on 1954 TV series Sherlock Holmes in the realm of 1954 TV series adaptations of Sherlock Holmes. The portrayal of Dr. John Watson has traversed a spectrum from lovable buffoonery to capable companion. Nigel Bruce's rendition of Watson, leaning into his endearing, bumbling persona, has left an indelible mark on the character's legacy. However, it was Howard Marion Crawford who dared to reshape Watson's image, positioning him as a far more astute aide to the iconic detective. While Bruce's Watson captured hearts with his affable demeanor, Marion Crawford's portrayal reimagined the dynamic between Holmes and Watson. As one of the first to do so, he depicted Watson as a character of substance, complementing Holmes with his resourcefulness and intellect. In this rendition, Watson became not just a foil for Holmes' brilliance, but an active and adept partner in the duo's investigative exploits. Breaking from the norm, the absence of Mrs. Hudson a curious omission from the 1954 Sherlock Holmes series, unlike many other adaptations, is the absence of the beloved character Mrs. Hudson. The absence of Holmes' stalwart housekeeper shifts the focus solely onto the detective, and his cases, allowing the narrative to delve deeper into the mysteries at hand. Without Mrs. Hudson's presence, the series gains a unique edge, drawing the audience into a world where the enigmatic detective's mind reigns supreme. A dueling duet, the dual arrangements of the theme music central to the series' identity, is its theme music, a composition that occurs in two distinct arrangements. One rendition, led by the piano, exudes a sense of solitude and introspection, mirroring Holmes' cerebral nature. The other version, a full orchestral arrangement, amplifies the drama and intensity of Holmes' pursuits, infusing each mystery with grandeur and intrigue. This musical duality parallels the multifaceted nature of Sherlock Holmes himself, bridging the gap between his contemplative moments and the excitement of his deductions. In the annals of television history, the 1954 adaptation of Sherlock Holmes remains a remarkable chapter. Howard Marion Crawford's reshaping of Dr. Watson, the exclusion of Mrs. Hudson, and the dual symphonic interpretations of the theme music collectively paint a portrait of a series that defied conventions and left an indelible mark on the legacy of, of television the history. The 1954 Sherlock Holmes series in 1954, an enigmatic TV series took viewers on a journey into the brilliant mind of Sherlock Holmes. However, this rendition held a twist that puzzled many for decades. Produced in Paris, the series boasted an all-British cast, delivering gripping performances that captivated audiences across Europe. Surprisingly, this iteration never graced British screens until 2006 when it finally found a home on the Bonanza satellite, Cable Channel. This belated introduction to its home audience only added to the mystique that surrounded the show. Behind the camera, an unsung contributor shaped the series in ways unnoticed by many. Steve Previn, lesser-known brother of renowned composer Andre Previn, took the director's chair for many of the episodes. His distinct vision wove seamlessly with the tales of deduction and intrigue, lending the series a unique atmosphere that left a lasting impact. Notably, this 1954 Sherlock Holmes series holds the distinction of being the first American television adaptation of the iconic detective's adventures. Remarkably, this milestone endured for over half a century until Elementary, another American take on the classic character, emerged. The 1954 series, with its timeless narratives and the unforgettable portrayal of Holmes, kept its singular status until the modern era. Unveiling the lesser-known treasures of television history, the 1954 Sherlock Holmes series stands as a testament to international collaboration and enduring fascination. Its path to British shores was a winding one, its direction influenced by a name lesser known than the famous composer, and its distinction as an American adaptation remained unchallenged for generations. Unlocking forgotten pages of the television chronicles, this series reminds us that true gems often remain hidden until the right moment shines a light upon them. 1954 TV series Sherlock Holmes, a transatlantic enigma produced in Paris and brought to life by an all-British cast. The 1954 TV series Sherlock Holmes remains an enigma of transatlantic television history.
Remarkably, despite its British origins, the series didn't grace screens in Britain until 2006. The elusive unveiling took place on the satellite, cable channel Bonanza, captivating a new generation of sleuth enthusiasts. This production holds the distinction of being the premier American television adaptation of Sir Arthur Conan Doyle's iconic detective. For more than five decades, it stood alone on the American front, as no other portrayal of Holmes ventured across the Atlantic. It wasn't until Elementary emerged that a new American incarnation saw the light of day. The series, with its unmistakably British flair, challenged the notion of cultural boundaries, proving that Holmes' deductions resonate globally. However, what puzzles aficionados of the Baker Street detective even more is the omission of Mrs. Hudson, the loyal housekeeper. A notable departure from the well-trodden path of adaptations, this absence adds a layer of intrigue to the series. While the Baker Street address remained, the absence of the steadfast Mrs. Hudson left Holmes to his devices in more ways than one. The 1954 Sherlock Holmes series stands as a testament to the enduring appeal of the brilliant detective. Its journey from Parisian production to transatlantic recognition defies convention, and its choice to forego the presence of Mrs. Hudson sparks conversation to this day. As the mystery of this series deepens with time, one thing remains certain. Sherlock Holmes' legacy continues to capture the imagination across continents. As we bid adieu to the mesmerizing world of the 1954 TV series, Sherlock Holmes, we find ourselves at the crossroads of nostalgia and wonder. Like a hidden clue awaiting discovery, this classic series has left an indelible mark on our hearts and minds. As we reflect upon the brilliant portrayals, the intricate mysteries, and the timeless charm that this rendition of the detective genius brought to our screens, we are invited to traverse our own journeys of deduction and intrigue. Perhaps you, dear reader, recall the thrill of each unraveling mystery, your mind racing alongside Holmes and Watson, trying to piece together the puzzle before the truth was revealed. Maybe it was the atmospheric setting that transported you to Victorian London, the foggy streets and gaslit alleys becoming as real as your own surroundings. Or perchance, it was the camaraderie between the great detective and his steadfast companion that tugged at your heartstrings, a bond that transcends time and mediums. As you take a moment to ponder the memories, emotions, and thoughts that the 1954 Sherlock Holmes series has kindled within you, consider sharing those treasured fragments with us. Your unique perspective, your personal connection, it's all a part of the rich tapestry woven by the collective admiration for this masterpiece. So, let the memories flow, the reflections deepen, and the conversations flourish. We eagerly await your insights, your anecdotes, and your thoughts about the series that has left an indomitable mark on mystery enthusiasts and television history alike. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the hallowed halls of Baker Street, for embracing the enigma that is Sherlock Holmes, and for sharing in the magic of storytelling. Until our next adventure together.